Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to take your seats, thank you. Would you please be upstanding for the Australian National Anthem? No football siren, please be seated. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and a very big welcome tonight to the 23rd Archbishop's Dinner here at Mooney Valley this evening. We've got a fabulous night lined up for you, plenty of uh, guests to, uh, to enjoy, to uh, a chat coming up a little later, which you're going to find very interesting tonight. And of course, uh, this particular night is renowned for the magnificent auctions and silent auction items. And as you can see, the, the room is absolutely decked out with some fabulous items here tonight. So make sure you dig deep because it's a wonderful, a wonderful cause that we come here each and every year to, uh, to celebrate this particular night. And to start the evening's proceedings, I'd like to introduce the Chairman of the Priests Support and Education Fund. Would you welcome Carmen Miranda? Archbishop Peter, Reverend Fathers, KC Australian Supreme Knight, Vincent Granahan, uh, KC Victoria State Chairman, Paul Mitchell, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 23rd KSC Priest Support and Education Fund Archbishop's Dinner. It's only with your support that we've been able to achieve this tonight. 450 people tonight. Yeah. I did say at the launch this year that if we wouldn't get 400, my days were numbered. So, thank you. Uh, every dollar that's raised tonight here goes towards the education of our seminarians. We've got three main fundraisers activities this evening. The first one is the major raffle. So on everybody's table, you'll see there's a basket. In that basket, there are five or six raffle tickets. There's uh, they're $10 a ticket. There's only five per book. If you need any more, just yell out and we'll, we'll get you some more. Um, the, the, the raffle is only done here. So I guarantee the winners will only be here tonight. For people that know me, I always say everybody's a winner. Everybody will be a winner tonight, okay? Uh, so we've got the uh, major raffle on top of that then we've got uh, the open auction with the open auction we've got seven items tonight to auction we're going to have two auctioneers uh, our first auctioneer uh, John Canavan he'll auction two items and then we've got uh, John, uh, we've got Brian Kane he'll, off, he'll auction the, the remaining five items in the second part of the night now, I don't know, you probably haven't seen yet, but uh, we have got some marvellous silent auction items 
in my eight years as the chairman, I reckon that what we've got tonight is probably the best crop of prizes I've ever seen. So um, dig deep for our seminarians tonight because there's plenty there. Uh, we've gone a bit different last year. I think that uh, uh, the days of cash, uh, it's got a bit harder. The, the, the old Italians only deal in cash, but uh, not as many Italians come here these days. So we've introduced FPOS as well. So if you if you uh, you want to buy your tickets or you want to pay for anything on FPOS, it's all available, no problem. Um, Leon, Leon, uh, what table are you on? Five. Table five. Um, so if you want FPOS facilities for any raffles, just come to table five and Leon will help you with that, no problem. Um, and you'll see that there's five great prizes, right? So hopefully they'll fit in your car. That's the only thing I say. Um, uh, but uh, do yourselves a favour, make sure you walk up and down those, those back rows because there's plenty there. Can I please ask uh, for our seminarians to please stand? <laughs> now we're here for these men. These are our priests of tomorrow. So let's support them. Thank you, seminarians. Please take a seat. Now, this year we've gone a bit different because uh, our guest speaker is the uh, new rector, uh, Father Cameron Forbes. We have also have the pleasure of having the seminary staff um, with us tonight. So if I can ask our seminary staff to please stand. So these are the people that work behind the scenes to make our seminarians better people. So thank you very much. Now it's uh, my great pleasure to invite Archbishop Peter to say a few words, followed by Grace. Well, good evening, everyone. Lovely that you're here in the biggest numbers, certainly. Oh, the biggest numbers I've had in my eight years. There we go. It's the biggest numbers in Carmen's years. So um, <laughs> it'll do me for the biggest numbers all up, uh, which is wonderful. Uh, and just uh, thank you for being present today. Uh, about four weeks ago now, uh, I had to get someone in off the bench to do something for me. Um, a reserve. There was a group of uh, young teachers mainly, emerging leaders, uh, some from our agencies, our financial agencies and our, uh, our uh, HR and so on, but mainly teachers. And they were in Rome. And we had a program of various inputs in the mornings of our days in Rome leading on to uh, World Youth Day in uh, in Portugal. And one of our speakers, one of our principal speakers, four of them, one of them got COVID. So they had to pull out, sadly, really sadly. So um, I had to go to the bench and I found this fellow called Francis, Pope Francis. <laughs> and there was this extraordinary opportunity for uh, a group of our young and emerging leaders in our archdiocese. Some, I hope, who might be here at dinner next year or the year after as seminarians and so on. Uh, and we had an hour with the Holy Father, just ourselves. He hearing their questions and responding to them. It was the most extraordinary uh, 
a thing I think I've been involved in, uh, and I actually got to meet the Pope one-to-one. -one. I've never done that before. Um, you get to meet the Pope every now and then as a bishop, but you never get to do it by yourself. Uh, so uh, that was wonderful too. The re Great Reserve, I've now called him. I got him off the bench. <laughs> wonderful. That experience, or at least partly that experience, and the experience of taking uh, 500 on our Archdiocesan uh, organised World Youth Day pilgrimage and another 100 on various other groups uh, from within the Archdiocese. So over 600 young people from our Archdiocese recently made that pilgrimage through different pathways, Rome, Holy Land, Fatima, Italy, to Portugal and to Lisbon for uh, the World Youth Day experience and it was extraordinarily good. There are a number who uh, as leaders and what have you who were present uh, during the World Youth Day experience. I'm going to ask you to stand. Carmen gets other people to stand. I'm going to... Those of you who are in uh, Lisbon, please stand. And you, you will notice in amongst our people here, are, all are pilgrims, but there are some of our priests, all our seminarians, some of our lay leaders, some just as pilgrims themselves. And uh, you can sit out, you don't, <laughs> don't have to keep standing. Who have come back into our archdiocese and into their local communities alive with the gift of Jesus Christ and able now, and I suspect deeply willing, to bring what they have received into uh, our local communities of faith. And so I want to honour them tonight. It includes our seminarians. Uh, and honour them by way of uh, mentioning to you and asking you to be their support as you hear the stories in your local communities of uh, their involvement. World Youth Day is a great thing, friends. It has planted a seed for us in the days ahead, in the months and years ahead. We as an archdiocese will host the Australian Catholic Youth Festival uh, in uh, December 2025, the largest gathering of uh, young Catholics in, uh, at a national level uh, in, in our country. We look towards uh, Korea, Seoul, in 2027 for the next World Youth Day. But in between, in between, is the opening up and the extending of the gift of faith into our young people in our communities, uh, wherever they might be, whether it's in a parish or in a school, out and about, as you know, living off uh, social media and so on. And so keep them in your prayers, get in behind them, invite, encourage, uh, and know that there are, know that there are young Catholics in our diocese stepping up and stepping forward, wanting to live a life in Christ and to live that in our communities. So let us pray it as we begin our meal this evening. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We give you thanks, Lord, for this day. We give you thanks for whatever blessings and moments have been a part of this day, knowing that you are present and have been in all of those moments. We give you thanks, Lord, for the gift of our families, wherever they might be at the moment, perhaps here, elsewhere. Be with them, Lord, in their needs. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of the food that we're going to be eating the produce of the land. We give you thanks for those who have prepared it and will serve us throughout this evening. We ask you, Lord, to be at our tables, 
present among us. And we ask, bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts, which of your goodness we're about to receive through Christ our Lord. Amen. Buon appetito.